COVID is taking an economic toll the world over. Seth Doan offers proof in this postcard from Italy. Creativity emanates from every corner of Italy. And this country's $67 billion fashion business taps the talent of these artisans who draw on generations of tradition. But the coronavirus is sending shockwaves through the industry, shuttering shops and canceling fashion shows, with losses reaching a staggering $20 billion. We traveled across Italy in recent months to see how artisans are coping in the COVID era. From the floors of a fabric factory in the eastern Veneto region to the rolling hills of Umbria. We began in the fashion capital, Milan. Who are your clients? Dolce & Gabbana, Armani, Bottega Veneta. Raffaella Grasso inherited the embroidery business Pino Grasso Ricchiami from her father and snapshots of past successes are posted on the walls. The technique that we use is overlapping sequence very well and that makes the difference. And this is something you can do only by hand. This elaborate dress worn by Eva Longoria at Cannes Film Festival took 1,000 hours to embroider. And mastering this craft can involve years of apprenticeship. We met embroiderers who've been with the company for nearly three and four decades. Wow, that's a lot of collective knowledge <laughs> yes, here. <laughs> but this craft is in jeopardy. When we visited last summer, orders from fashion houses were down 70 percent. So we are working half and half. Does that mean people are making half as much? Yeah. Since then, they've picked up some work, but are still down by 50 percent. They'd already worried about another wave of infections, which Italy is seeing now. It's a fight to keep the business going. If we have to close, part of our knowledge and all our experience will be lost forever. So thinking about having to close is not just about losing a business. It's about losing more than that. More than that, yes. In central Italy, the towns dotting the rolling hills of Umbria may appear remote, but the fashion businesses here are hardly insulated. If stores don't open in Los Angeles or New York or Tokyo, for that matter, there's an effect here. You feel it. Luxury cashmere makes high-end sweaters, scarves, and shirts for top fashion houses, including Ralph Lauren and Brunello Cuccinelli. Anche va in America, will this go to America? When we met last year, they were filling orders that had been placed last spring, before Italy's nine-week nationwide lockdown. But retail sales in their own shop were down close to 50%. The work itself is the same, Adria Castellani told us, but in past years we had more security. Fashion is always a business projected in the future because we need to think, to plan what will go on the shops next year. Lorenzo Bonotto runs his family company, Bonotto Fabrics, which produces for Chanel, Alexander Wang, Tory Birch, Theory, and hundreds of other clients. How did COVID affect business orders? Ah, the beginning was a, a big hit. But they've made up for those losses. Since they supply to companies in various countries, they've seen orders returning from places where lockdowns have loosened. You've seen the orders go up and down in yeah. different parts of the world yeah, yeah. as the lockdowns have gone. Thanks to God, working globally, more or less, uh, we were able to compensate. What was missing, the order missing Europe arrived from Asia. What now is missing from the uh, United States is arriving from Europe now. This flexibility, he says, is an art, and he finds inspiration from the contemporary works they have on the walls. His dad started collecting decades ago, and today they have more than 17,000 pieces. You don't expect to look around a factory, a warehouse, and see forklifts driving past big pieces of art. Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. They thrive on creativity. It's central to imagining new fabrics and designs. Only because we have the art around us, help us to be creative. 
And Creative is the first vaccine against the COVID. The first vaccine. Of course. It's creative. It's a mental vaccine. Finding opportunity is unusually challenging in this environment. But these artisans who built businesses based on their talents are now drawing on that same creativity to survive.